You're watching News 8 Now. I'm Megan Torgerson. And I'm Erin Ovalley. The York County Sheriff's Department is investigating a possible abduction, trying to figure out if it actually even happened. They say a woman reported being forced into a pickup truck while walking along Parsonsfield Road around 2 o'clock yesterday afternoon. She reportedly says that she was held for about 30 minutes in a truck with emergency lights on top, and then she was let go. Investigators say the men were in their early 20s. This morning, a Portland man is in the hospital after he was hit while riding his bike on Forest Avenue around 745 last night. The section of the road near Riverside Street was blocked off for several hours, but is back open this morning. Police would not release names, but they do say the 43-year-old man was taken to Maine Medical Center for treatment. The driver of the car was not injured, and the crash remains under investigation. The $1 million renovation of the State House Dome nearing completion. The project is on track to be done by November. Workers have replaced the copper sheath that covers the dome, and that means its signature green color is no more. The new covering is bright and shiny. If you miss the old green color, don't worry, it'll eventually return after about 30 years of exposure to our main weather. More than 1,000 people turned out along the Androscoggin River to walk. It's all a part of the Central Maine Heart Walk. Heart disease is the number one killer in the U.S. And organizers say yesterday's walkers put them well on their way to their goal of raising more than $150,000. All of the proceeds go toward the American Heart Association. Well, thanks for tuning into this News 8 Now update. I'm Erin O'Valley. I'm Megan Torgerson. Make sure to check back on our website, WMTW.com, and our mobile app for the top stories and weather anytime. Have a good day. Thank you.